Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use PHP My Admin. First things first, in a previous tutorial I showed you how to install WAMP Server. Okay, you want to come down here to your WAMP Server icon. You want to single click on it. You want to come right up here to PHP My Admin. Click on it. Give it a second to launch. Alrighty. Over here you'll see a list of databases you currently have installed. Uh, it's pretty pretty simple. Uh, you can make new databases by going to the database tab. Uh, it's pretty simple. You can just create a new database. Uh, you just give it a name and you create it. Uh, the, the basic use for databases is uh, most PHP software requires the creation of a database. Uh, so what you'd want to do is you'd want to come in and create a database for whatever you're wanting to install. Uh, say you want to install a website called George. You just come in and make a database for George. Well, as you go through the install for the PHP site, it will ask you for the database name, which you would then select George. That's where this database comes in useful. Once creating a database, we're going to go ahead and make George. And we're going to create it. Alrighty. This little home button will take us back to the main page. Now you see we have a database George. You notice there's no numbers next to it because there's no entries for the database. As to where you can see, there's entries for these databases, okay? So George is in our new database. Uh, well, you can't do anything without it, uh, with a database without making a user account. Okay? <coughs> so basically what you want to do, you want to go back to the home page. Oh, we're already there. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can figure out how to get to this here. Basically, you just want to go to the Privileges tab. Alrighty. There's no actual new user tab or anything like that. You want, you want to go to the Privileges. Okay. It gives you a couple default uh, users. Not, not to worry. These can only connect via local host. Alrighty. Uh, they cannot connect from outside uh, outside the server. Uh, as, as you can see here, I have an admin account that has all privileges with a password. Okay. Uh, it is also localhost, but I can use it from anywhere. Uh, okay. Um, what we want to do is we want to come down here to add a new user. Alrighty. In this area, you just use the text field. You put in your username. So Bob wants an account. So we're going to give Bob an account. Okay. Uh, host, you just want to hit local host. Alright. Uh, your password, obviously you put in whatever your password. In this case, we're just going to say monkey. Okay. It'll ask you to retype your password. Okay. Databases for users. You can actually, at the time you make the user, say you wanted to give, uh, say you allow somebody to make a website on your server. Um, say, you know, their, their database is going to be called Bob and their username is going to be Bob. You could just create a database with the same name and grant all privileges. So the Bob user would have privileges to the Bob database, but nothing else. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the privileges on wildcard name means. I normally keep none selected. Uh, there's global privileges to where they can do uh, basically anything throughout any of the databases. Okay. Uh, if you want it to basically be a super account to where they can mess with any of the databases, you, you'd want to... Uh, keep none selected here, and then check whatever applied here. Okay, uh, and then obviously you would hit go. But in this case, we're just going to create a database with the same name and grant our privileges. Okay, so we say go, and it goes. You have added a new user. Okay, so now when we go to privileges again, we're going to see Bob in the list. Uh, we're going to see that he is passworded, and it's going to say usage instead of all privileges. All privileges is basically just what the admin account is going to say. So the only database that Bob will have permissions to use 
would be the Bob database. All right. Um, it's actually very simple. Uh, SQL, you can actually do a query from here. Uh, SQL is basically what makes a database. Okay. Uh, let's go take a, a gander at one of my databases. Uh, you see how it, it breaks things up. We got character sets, um, collations, so on and so forth. You can actually go into each separate one, I do believe. Okay, maybe you can't. Uh, just want to see here. You can search all your uh, all your sections of your database. You can actually export your databases. Uh, you can export them to various types of files, uh, CSVs. Most commonly used is an SQL because then you could actually restore it from the SQL file. All right. Um, I'm thinking. Okay, if you just go to. The SQL tab, uh, my apologies, the import tab, uh, you can actually, any of those saved SQLs, or if you have any SQL based databases that don't self install, you just want to come over here to import, you'd browse and you'd find your file. The largest it will allow to take is 8 megs. That is a server, uh, that is a server setting. Okay, uh, you can actually increase that with your configuration files that I showed you in the how to set up a, a home web server uh, tutorial. Um, with, with all the config any files you could configure this to be whatever size you wanted. Because uh, 8 megs is actually fairly small. Uh, a lot of SQLs uh, range around 40 to 50 megabytes. Uh, all the same, you just hit browse, you'd find your SQL, uh, and then you'd uh, UTF-8 is the standard character code unless otherwise specified by the installation, installation instructions. Okay. <coughs> um, then you just obviously come down here and say go. Go basically means execute on everything. Alrighty. Uh, you can look at the status of your databases. Okay. Um, Let's see. Uh, char sets. This actually basically all of the when you go to make a database, uh, and it asks you right here. These are uh, known as char sets. Okay. So when you come here and look at the char sets, it'll actually explain to you what each char set is. Um, for instance, we're going to go with Big Five Bin. It's a traditional Chinese binary. Okay. So if you need to run in a different language or, or anything like that, uh, it's this is just a helpful page so you'll know what you're doing. Um, you shouldn't really ever need to mess with the engines category. Um, this basically what this is showing is right now. We are using when when we click on PHP my admin from down here at the WAMP server, we are automatically connecting with root at local host. Okay, so right here are the processes that are shown. Uh, this is showing that we're actually viewing the process list. Uh, obviously, uh, you can also uh, yeah I showed you the export. Then there's the import. This will basically show everything you've done uh, at a recent in a recent amount of time uh, just your logs now, if you get confused there's always the documentation tabs over here that will help you a little bit tell you some support a little bit of troubleshooting uh, so on and so forth um, PHP my admin is not really that complicated. Uh, if you know a little bit of SQL and uh, know how to work with databases, you shouldn't have a problem. Uh, 
All in all, I think this concludes my review. I appreciate you watching.